Amen. We can pray together. Father, in the name of Jesus, Baba, kwa jina la Yesu, we lift your name on high. We thank you for this season. Kwa majira haya. The new season you have given unto majira us. Thank you for what you are doing kwa kila in our lives, oh God. Katika yetu, oh in our families. Katika family in zetu. the church, oh God. Katika kanisa, oh and even in the nation. Hata katika taifa. We bless your name, Yahweh. Jina lako, Yahweh. We worship you. We continue to seek you. Kukutafuta. Lord, as our necessity. Bwana kama, uh, uh, mungu wetu mkuu. Manifest in our lives. Manifest in this service. In the name of Jesus. Kwa jina la Yesu. Bless everyone that came. Bariki kila moja Bless that, uh, those that are watching. Bariki wote and even those that watch later. Na hata wale Father, speak to us. Baba, nasi. And use us again. Na tena. In the name of Jesus. Kwa jina la Yesu. Thank you once again. Asante marate. For you are doing a new thing. Kwa mano unafanya jambo jipia. In our lives. Katika maisha yetu. And in the name of Jesus. Na kwa jina la Yesu. We pray and we say. Meomba na kusema. Amen. 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 We thank God for this evening. Uh, the first Friday of the month of June. We are grateful to meet uh, every one of you. Thank you so much, Heart of Worship. Uh, for leading us. And welcome everybody. Thank you for coming. Na asanteni kwa sababu ya kuja. We acknowledge our mom. Tunatambua mama yetu. Uh, and the dad. Na pamoja na baba yetu. Yes, and the, we acknowledge that they are used of God. Na tuatambua ya kwamba wanatumewa na mungu. We continue to enjoy na their tu, leadership. Tunaendelea kufrahia uongozi wao. And even the opportunities to serve and na, Pia kwa nafasi ya kuweza kutumika. Thank you so much. We can have our seat. Asandeni sana mnaweza ukalia viti. Yes. Dio. Welcome. Karibuni. Even those that are on, uh, online, welcome. Hata njini ambao mko katika mtandao karibuni. We are introducing. Tuna tanguliza. After the introduction of our father. Bada ya kutangulizwa na baba yetu. We continue to command results twaendelea kuamrisha matokeo this is our season haya ni majira yetu for commanding results ya kuamrisha matokeo what a wonderful topic e, mada ya jam namna gani i believe everyone re re desires to have results naamini kwamba kila mmoja anatamani kupata matokeo so welcome kwa hivyo karibuni may the lord help us na bwana mungu atusaidie may the lord help us bwana mungu atusaidie to operate our lives our lives of results e, tukafanye tukawe na maisha ya kuamrisha matokeo every area of our lives kila sehemu ya maisha yetu may there be results ukawe na matokeo uh, even before we proceed hata kabla hatujaendelea romans 1:17 Warumi moja msari wa kumina saba. Something interesting that we can make a prayer on. Kitu cha kufutia mbacho tunaweza kuokiombea. For in, in it, the righteousness of God is revealed from faith to faith. As it is written, the just shall live by faith. Kwa mana haki ya mungu inadhirishwa ndani yake, toka imani hata imani, Kama ilivyo andikwa mwenye haki ataishi kwa imani. I was remembering that bit from faith to faith. Nilikuwa na kumbuka hiki kipengele cha kutoka imani hata imani. You know we can ask ourselves. Najua tunaweza kujiuliza wenyewe. We have been receiving the word of God. Tumekuwa tukipokea neno la Mungu. From January. Kutoka January. From the time we started coming to church. Toka wakati tulipoanza kuingia kanisani. And we we continue to receive the word. Na tunaendelea kulipokea neno. Because the word of God says that faith comes by hearing. Kwa sababu neno la Mungu linasema kwamba imani huja kwa kusikia and hearing by the word of God. Na kwa kusikia neno la Mungu. I got a revelation. Basi nikapokea ufunuo that we 
are supposed to move from faith to faith. Ya kwamba tuwasaili kutoka imani kwenda imani. Yes, we had. Ndiyo tulisikia. We received faith. Tukapokea imani. We received visitation. Tukapokea kutembelewa. You know there are things that we have received. Unajua kuna vitu ambavyo tumepokea. By faith. Kwa imani. But God is telling us we can move from faith to faith. Lakini Mungu anatuambia kwamba tunaweza kutoka imani hata imani. As we start this season. Tunapoanza majira haya. I want you to tell the Lord to help you. Ningependa umulize Bwana akusaidie. To move from faith to faith. Ukatoke kutoka imani hadi imani. From faith to a higher faith. E, kutoka imani kwa imani In ya the mighty name of Jesus. Kwa jina kuu la Yesu. Father God I pray. Baba Mungu naomba. Help me in the name of Jesus. Nisaidie kwa jina la Yesu. Help the church in the name of Saidia Jesus. kanisa kwa jina la Yesu. That I will move from faith to a higher faith. Ya kwamba tukatoke imani kwa imani ya Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Kwa jina la Yesu. We refuse to stagnate. Tunakataa kukwama. We refuse to live by yesterday this manner. Tunakataa kuishi kwa maana ya jana. We pray O oh God. Tunaomba ewe Mungu. As you have ordained it Lord. Kama vile umeiweka. Help, help us. Tusaidie. Help each and every one of us. Saidia kila mmoja na kila mmoja wetu. From faith to faith. Atoke imani haingie hadi imani. In the name of Jesus. Kwa jina la Yesu. From the saving faith. Kutoka kwa imani ya wokovu. We move to conquering faith. Tukaingia katika imani ya kushinda. In the name of Jesus. Kwa jina la Yesu. Help us to move Lord. Tusaidie kwenda Bwana. Help us to see movement. Tusaidie kuona utembezi fruit tusaidie kuona matunda in the name of jesus kwa jina la yesu uh, we say amen tunasema amina amen amen our topic this evening basi mada yetu usiku wa leo is understanding ni kuelewa the season of commanding results majira ya kuamrisha matokeo understanding the season kuelewa majira and uh, we are blessed to have this uh, theme na tumebarikiwa kuwa ama kupata mada hii the lord is really gracious bwana mungu hakika ni wakunemesha god wants us to have results mungu anataka tuwe na matokeo when we are commanding wakati tunaamrisha command e, amri it is to give orders ni kupatiana e, utaratibu There is a statement that our dad bishop uses. <laughs> eh kuna usemi askofu wetu baba yetu utumia. You know. Kubini ya bato. Kubonyeza kitufe. There's there's something you do kina kitu unafanya and you you allow some other things to happen. Na unaviruhusu vitu vingine kufanyika. To command kuamrisha this is our season to command results haya ni majira yetu ya kuamrisha matokeo and then results basi matokeo the results mean outcomes matokeo ni kile ambacho kinakuja hapo baadaye baada ya kufanya jambo god is a rewarder mungu anatuza god is is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him Mungu anawatuza wale ambao wanamtafuta kwa bidii. God is a rewarder of them that serve him. Mungu anawatuza wale ambao wanamtumikia. There are results. Kunayo matokeo. There are results. Kunayo matokeo. David said, Daudi akasema, I was young. Nilikuwa mchanga and I'm old. Na sasa ni mzee. I have never seen the rashes for second. Sijawahi kuona mwenye haki akiwa ameachwa. I've never seen their children begging bread. Sijawahi kuona watoto wake wakiwa mkati. Kunayo matokeo. There are outcomes. Eh kunayo matokeo. So we we are in that season. Kwa hivyo basi tumo katika hayo majira of commanding results. Ya kuamrisha matokeo. And there is We, we will be learning na tutakuwa tunasoma how we will be commanding results vile tutakuwa tunaamrisha matokeo allow me to take us to our theme verse basi mniruhusu nikuwapeleke katika mstari wetu ulio ku zekaraya 8:23 zekaraya 8 mstari wa 23 zekaraya 8:23 zekaraya 8 mstari wa 23 uh, kindly get there tafadhali tupeleke humo It's a very interesting scripture. Mstari wa kuvutia sana. 
This is what the Lord Almighty says. E bwana wa majeshi asema hivi In those days e siku hizo 10 men from all languages and nations will take firm hold of one Jew by the hem of his robe and say let us go with you because we have heard that God is with you Siku hizo watu kumi wa luka, uh, lugha zote za mataifa wataushika upinde wa nguo yake yeye aliye Mwayahudi naam wataushika wakisema tutakwenda pamoja nanyi kwa maana tumesikia kwamba Mungu yu pamoja nanyi 10 men wanaume kumi. many people watu wengi you know 10 men means many people unajua wanaume kumi maana yake ni watu wengi people that are not from your family watu ambao hawatoki katika njamii yako people that are from other places watu ambao wanatoka katika mahali kwingine they come looking for the jews wanakuja wakiwatafuta wayahudi they come looking for believers wanakuja wakitafuta waumini our time this is about believers eh wakati wetu hui hii na uhusu waumini we got the historical perspective basi tukapata ule mwelekeo wa kiroho but just allow me to proceed lakini mnikanihusu niweze kwenda mbele so so uh, People from other places. Hivyo, watu kutoka other quarters. Possibly non-believers. Sana sana watu they see something. Wanaona kitu amongst the believers. Katikati ya waumini. And they begin looking for the believers. Na wanaanza kuwatafuta wale waumini. And they have something. Na wanacho kitu. That they are saying. Mbacho wanasema. Let us go with you. Wacha tutembe na wewe. Because we have heard. Wasa that God is with you. Ya kwamba Mungu yuko pamoja nawe. You know uh, uh, those days unajua siku zile and even sometimes uh, that have gone uh, past na hata wakati mwingine ambao umepita we have had the church tumesoma kanisa and the people of God na watu wa Mungu not being taken serious. Eh ambao hawajachukuliwa kwa kumaanisha. Uh, they, there has been some some contempt, some ridicule. the church, wakanisa, and for for even um, the Jews. Na hata kwa wajahudi. In these times, they were they they were coming from from a place of captivity. Katika nyakati hizi walikuwa natoka katika mahali pa kutekwa mateka. And so they were not respected. Na hivyo basi hawakuheshimiwa. But the prophecy came. Lakini unabii ukafika. People will begin looking for them. Watu wataanza kuwatafuta. God is about to do something. Mungu yuko tayari kufanya jambo. Even in our times. Hata katika nyakati zetu. When he does it. Na anapoifanya, people will begin looking for us. Watu wataanza kututafuta. And they have they are saying, let us go with you. Na wanasema, wacheni basi tuende pamoja let nani. Let us accompany you. Wacha tutembe pamoja let nani. Let us be part of your group. Wacheni tukawe semu ya kundichenu. Amen. Amen. There is a certain influence. E, kuna haina ya dhari fulani. That is coming. Ambayo enakuja. Upon the children of God. Juhu ya watoto wake mungu. May that influence locate you. Hiyo ya dhari kakutafute. In the name of Jesus. Kwa jina la Yesu. You know the, the picture that is drawn here. Unajua ile tasila about men that are taking firm hold of a, of a, a hem of a, a, the garment of a Jew. Kuhusu baadhi ya wanaume ambao wanashika upinde wa nguo wa ya Mwayahudi. It is, seems like they are fearing something. Inaonekana kwamba kuna kitu wanaogopa. They are seeking protection. E kuna ulinzi ambao wanautafuta. They are seeking help wanastafuta msaada from them that could not give help before kutoka kwa wale ambao hango wapatia msaada hapo now wali. they come seeking help sasa wanakuja wakitafuta kwa usaidizi May the church of God receive a new reputation. May a new reputation come upon every household of a believer. In the name of Jesus. Every household of a believer. May there be a new tech. Kukawe na kuonya kuwa kupia. May your neighbors begin to perceive you differently. Majirani wako wakaanse kukuona kwa njia tofauti. In the name of Jesus. Kwa jina la Yesu. Amen. Amen. You know I met someone. Najua nilikutana mtu. And they, 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 they began to compliment something. 
na wakaanza ku they don't come to this they don't come to the church this church awaji kanisani hili and then she was complimenting something na hivyo basi akaanza kukamilisha jambo and i liked the way she she said something positive na alisema kitu kizuri something positive kitu ambacho ni kizuri from from an outsider e kutoka kwa mtu wa nje we will hear such we will hear more of that tutasikia mengi kuhusu hayo bwana yesu asifiwe amen now sasa for it to happen e kwa jambo hili ili iweze kufanyika rather i want us to look at this you know we are introducing ama nataka tutazame jambo hili namjua ya kwamba tunatanguliza Uh, what makes people to come to us kinacho wafanya watu kuja kwetu we will look at some some of the things that could make people to come to us tutaangalia baadhi ya vitu ambavyo vinaweza kufanya watu wakaja kwetu we will be people magnets tutakuwa waasimaku za watu we are people magnets sisi ni simaku za watu for the glory of god kwa utukufu wake mungu and what makes people to come na kile ambacho kinawafanya watu waje i believe you can hear something and believe god in that line naamini unaweza kusikia kitu na unamwamini mungu kwa jambo hilo one ya kwanza what makes people kinachowafanya watu come to us waje kwetu like in this case they came kama kwa mfano huu basi walifanya kuja what makes them to come nini kinawafanya waje ah uh, some of the instances e mifano e, e, mifano number one mfano wa kwanza when the dead are made alive wakati wafu wamesababishwa kuishi ama kufufuka john chapter 12 verse 9 Yohane 12 mstari ni wa 9 When the dead are made alive Wakati wafu wa mnafufuliwa Look at this Tazama hapo Meanwhile a large crowd of Jews found out that Jesus was there and came not only because of him but also to see Lazarus whom he had raised from the dead basi watu wengi katika Wayahudi walipata kujua ya kuwa yeye yuko huko nao wakaja si kwa anjili yake Yesu tu ila wamuone na Lazaro ambaye Yesu alimfufua katika wavu something had happened kitu kilikuwa kimetendeka a man had been had died and had just it was rotten e, mtu alikuwa ameshakufa na alikuwa ameoza in the tomb Eh siku nne katika kaburi and then Jesus rose him up. Basi Yesu akamfufua. When that happened. Jambo hilo lilipofanyika. People started looking for him. Watu wakaanza kumtafuta. He got popular. Akapata kuta, kuta, uh, kupe, kupendeka. People start as they look for Jesus they are also looking for Lazarus. Watu wanapomtafuta Yesu pia wanamtafuta Lazarus. Whom he had raised from the dead. Ambaye alikuwa amemfufua kutoka kwa wafu. Let me tell you something. Je, niwaambie jambo. There are some things that can happen in your life. Kuna baadhi ya vitu ambavyo vinaweza kufanyika katika maisha yako. Some bad things that can be can arise. Vitu ambavyo vimekufa vinaweza kufufuka. God can raise up Mungu, some dead things in your life. Mungu anaweza kuvinua baadhi ya vitu vingine ambavyo vimekufa ndani ya maisha. Yes in your life you lost hope. Eh maeneo mengine katika maisha yako ambapo umepoteza tumaini. To believe. Huu ni wakati wa kuamini. Eh uh, we read about Abraham in, in Romans. Tunasoma kuhusu Ibrahimu katika Warumi. He believed. Yeye aliamini. He hoped. Yeye alitumaini. Against all hope. Kinyume na tumaini yote. Even even the time that he was about to sacrifice his son hata wakati alipokuwa karibu kumtoa mwanaye dhabihu the bible says he believed in the one who could raise him up again biblia inasema kwamba alimwamini ndani ya yeye ambaye angeweza kumuinua mara tena you know one time i was asking myself why would he dare kill the only son najua siku moja alikuwa anajiuliza sasa alijaribu namna gani kumuua mwana wake wa pekee and i read that part that said he knew God is the one who gives life and he can after the son is sacrificed he can still bring him up again basi nikasoma hiyo sehemu ambayo alimwamini yule ambaye yuko na uwezo hata baada ya kuwa mwanaye anaweza kumfufua tena kawa hai God is the one that brings life Mungu ni yeye analeta uzima kwa yule ambaye amekufa God 
is the one that brings life. Mungu ndiye analeta uhai. In that dead situation. Katika hiyo hali ambayo imekufa. He is raising up. Yeye anainua. He is raising up some people. Yeye anawainua baadhi ya watu. He is raising them from the ashes. Anawainua kutoka kwa mafumbi. He is bringing them up. Anawainua. May you be part of the people. Ukawe sehemu ya watu hao. That will have this testimony. Baa watakuwa na ushuhuda huu. That this and this was dead in my life. Ya kwamba hii na lile liko mekufa ndani ya maisha yangu. God has given me life. Naye Mungu amenipatia uhai. God has made me to live in this life. Mungu ameisha amenipatia ameipatia kuishi that kind of you know the dead becoming you know coming to life it draws crowds unajua ile ambayo imekufa ikifufuka ina vuta inavuta watu it makes people to come and see inawasababishia watu kuja kuona na kutazama in the name of jesus kwa jina la yesu may every dead situation in our lives na kila hali ambayo imekufa katika maisha yetu every dead situation kila hali iliyokufa that should bring glory to god haya staili kumletea mungu tukufu it come back alive ikarudi kuwa hai in the name of jesus kwa jina la yesu the name above every other name jina ambalo liko juu ya jina lingine tunazungumza uzima Speak life in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. If we are together say amen. Kama tuko pamoja sema amina. Amen. That is number 1. Sasa hiyo ni ya kwanza. What makes us to draw men? Nini kinatufanya tuvutie watu? You know it has to be something God is doing. Unajua ni kitu ambacho Mungu anafanya. Or he has done. Ama tayari amefanya. Number 2. Ya pili. When You are rising is uncommon. Wakati kuinuka kwako si kwa kawaida. When you are rising, wakati kuinuka kwako is uncommonly bright. Eh si kwa kawaida. All is uncommonly bright. Yaani kuna you know brightness. Eh kunga. Kuna kunga kusiko kwa kawaida. Yes. Mm-hmm. Some of us baadhi yetu We we should believe God. Tunasaini kumwamini Mungu. To arise. Tukainuke. To rise. Tukainuke. You know you can rise to a place to a position. Unajua unaweza kuinuka hadi kiwango to a status. Eh kwa hadhi ama hali. Eh let me show you something. Wacha nionyeshe kitu. You know I was reading about eh uh, Joseph Najua nilikuwa nasoma kuhusu Yusufu. Look at Joseph. Uh, Genesis 39. Mtazame Yusufu mwanzo 39. Verse 2. Mstari wa pili. Mm-hmm. Look at this. Angalia hapo. The Lord was with Joseph. Bwana alikuwa pamoja na Yusufu. He prospered. Na akafanikiwa. Verse 3. Mstari wa 3. And he is a slave. Na yeye ni mtumwa. When his master saw Bwana wake alipoona that the Lord was with him ya kwamba Bwana alikuwa pamoja naye and this God gave him success in everything he did na yakuwa Bwana Mungu huyu alimfanikisha mambo yote mkononi mwake you know this is this is a star this person is shining unajua hii ni nyota huyu mtu anang'aa he might be a slave but he is shining anaweza kuwa ni mtumwa lakini yeye anang'aa everything he does kila jambo analolifanya God help you Mungu akusaidie In everything you do katika kila jambo ulitenda Maybe a testimony Kawe na ushuhuda In the name of Jesus Kwa jina la Yesu Look at verse 4 Tazama mstari wa 4 Joseph uh, uh, did we did we skip any verse I thought there is a verse All right Oh next sawa Joseph found favor in his eyes and became his attendant. Yusufu akaona kibali machoni pake akamtumikia. You know, Potiphar allowed Joseph to just attend to him. Eh Potiphar alimruhusu Yusufu amte amtende mambo. There were people from Egypt. Kulikuwa na watu ambao walikuwa wametoka Misri. This guy is from another land. Huyo mtu anatoka katika nchi nyingine. But there's something about him that is bright. Lakini kuna kitu kumhusu ambacho kinang'aa. He is not just like any other servant. Yeye sio kama mtumishi yule mwingine. He found favor. Yeye alipata kibali. In the name of Jesus. Kwa jina la Yesu. This is ours. Sasa hii ni yetu. Then Potiphar put him in charge 
of his household and he entrusted to his care everything. Naye akamweka awe msimamizi juu ya nyumba yake na yote aliyomo aliyaweka mikononi mwake. Look at verse 5. Tazama mstari wa 5. What happens? Nini kinafanyika? The star shines in the house of Potiphar. Ile nyota inang'aa katika nyumba ya Potiphar. From the time he put him in charge of his household. Kutoka ule wakati alipomfanya msimamizi wa nyumba yake. Lord blessed the household of the Egyptian. Basi Mungu akalibariki ile nyumba ya Misri. This is a certain sort of rising. Hii ni aina fulani ya kuinuka. Doesn't matter where you are. Hata ijalishi mahali ulipo. The grace to cause you to shine locate you. Neema ya kufanya ungai kwa you are. Popote ulipo. In the name of Jesus. Kwa jina la Yesu. Uh, that is the first scripture. Sasa huu ni mstari wa kwanza. Genesis 39 to 5 Manzo 39 mstari wa 2 hadi wa 3 uh, scripture on rising na mstari huo 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 tu kuhusu kuinuka Isaiah 63 Isaiah 63 Look at this Angalia hapo Isaiah 63 Isaiah 63 60 verse 3 Look at this Oh sitini na msali ni watatu Nations will come to your light basi mataifa yatakuja kwa nuru yako. May you possess light. Wewe ukapokee nuru. May you receive light. Ukapokee nuru. This season. Kwenye majira haya. In the name of Jesus. Kwa jina la Yesu. May you receive light. Wewe ukapokee nuru. May nations come to your light. Mataifa yakaje kwa nuru yako. And the kings. Na wafalme. People with authority. Watu walio na mamlaka. People that have that you know this is this is special. Sasa hii ni special. They come to the brightness of your dawn. Wanakuja katika mwanga wa kuzuka kwako. You know, you know your rising must be bright. Unajua kuinuka kwako asaili kuwa na nuru. In the next one minute I want you to prophesy to your life. Dakika moja ijayo ningependa utabirie maisha yako. May there be light in your life. Ukawe na nuru katika maisha yako. May there be brightness in your life. Ukawe na kung'aa katika maisha yako. The Bible says that the path of the righteous. Biblia inasema na njia mwenye haki. Glows brighter and brighter. Inazidi kung'aa na kuendelea kung'aa. Perfect light of the day. Hadi ya nuru ikamilifu ya siku. Ningependa fungue kinywa chako utabii. This is not the brightest you are. Hii sio ile kung'aa kwako bora kabisa. You can be more brighter. Unasaini kuwa unang'aa zaidi. There be more brightness. Wacha kukaa na nuru zaidi. There be more brightness. Wacha kukaa na mwanga zaidi. In my path. Katika njia zangu. In the name of Jesus. Kwa jina la Yesu. There be more brightness. Wacha kukaa na nuru zaidi. Katika maisha yetu. In the name of Jesus. Kwa jina la Yesu. May kings come. Wafalme na wakaji. To the brightness of our dawn katika kung'aa kwa kuzuka kwetu in the name of Jesus kwa jina la Yesu if we are together say amen kama tuko pamoja sema amina there is a way you can rise kuna njia ambayo unaweza kuinuka and you draw nations na unavutia mataifa kwako bwana Yesu asifiwe amen the rising kule kuinuka common mbako si kwa kawaida number three. nambari ya tatu. all right number three. number tatu. Uh, Isaiah 55 Isaiah 55 When you are glorified Sasa unapotukuzwa When you are glorified by the Lord Unapotiwa mwangaza na Mungu Isaiah 55 verse 5 Isaiah 55 mstari wa 5 The Lord is able to glorify you Mungu anaweza kukutukuza When the lepers were leaving the gate of Samaria wakati wanaukoma walipokuwa wanatoka katika malango ya Samaria they were making small steps walikuwa wanafanya tu watu wa eh, ndogo it was even painful to walk hata ilikuwa yenye maumivu yenye uchungu kutembea they are lepers wakiwa wenye ukoma ni wagonjwa wanaugua But god amplified their steps lakini mungu akavumisha zile hatua zao god glorified their steps mungu akatukuza akanenepena may this be the season haya kawe ndio majira that we shall see a new glory of our lives hapo tutaona utukufu mpya juu ya maisha yetu help me with nkjv nisaidie na nkjv look at this nkjv all right yes surely You shall call a nation 
you do not know a nations who know not who do not know you shall run to you tazama utaita taifa usilolijua na taifa lisilokujua wewe litakukimbilia you know you have called and the, not only the, the nations you have called even others run to us unajua umeita taifa lakini sio taifa lile ambalo umeliita linakuja lakini hata mataifa mengine yanakuja kwetu because of the lord your god kwa sababu ya bwana mungu wako i love that one napendezo na because of the lord my god kwa sababu ya bwana mungu wangu the holy one of israel mtakatifu wa israeli open your mouth and tell him to glorify you fungua kinywa chako na muulize akutukuze tell him to glorify your family mwambi muulize atukuze familia yako in the name of jesus kwa jina la yesu acknowledge him as the lord god your god mtambue kwamba ndiye bwana mungu wako father god Baba Mungu you are my Lord God wewe ndiwe bwana mungu you are wangu. my only one wewe ndiwe wangu wa pekee my savior mwokozi wangu you are the one that is able wewe ndiye unaweza to glorify me kunitukuza i ask you to glorify me ninakuuliza unitukuze amplify my steps hata ukanenepeshe hatua zangu in the name of jesus kwa jina la yesu that thing about amplifying our steps hilo jambo kuhusu kuvumisha hatua zangu I I feel someone should believe it. Na hisi kwamba mtu anastahili kuiamini. Glorifying your steps. E kuvumisha zile hatua za. Actions you take. Zale matendo ambayo unayafanya. They become a big thing. Zanafanyika jambo kuu. May that be yours in Jesus name. Hiyo ikawe yako kwa jina la Yesu. And 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 others God extends your borders. Na hata zingine Mungu ana eh, eh, one extends your borders ana panua mipaka yako one of the meanings of glory, being glorified moja wapo ya maelezo kuhusu kutukuzwa is to be made great ni kufanywa mkuu it is to be beautified ni kufanywa kuwa na ubora may the lord Amazu. beautify you bwana mungu akuebeshe in the name of jesus kwa jina la yesu i ask us to receive it na wauliza tupokee may the lord beautify you bwana mungu akuebeshe in the name of jesus kwa jina la yesu may the lord make you great bwana mungu akufanye mkuu in the name of jesus kwa jina la yesu you know i i i, I read something unajua nilisoma kitu god was telling uh, david mungu alikuwa anamwambia daudi You remember I took you from from the the, the fields. Unakumbuka nilikutoa kule uwanjani ama nyanjani. I think uh, second Samuel Samuel wa pili uh 7:9. mstari wa 9. He was telling that, that uh, David. Alikuwa anamwambia Daudi. Took you from the fields. Nilikutoa kule uwanjani kule uwanjani. And I have been with you wherever you have gone. Na nimekuwa pamoja nawe mahali popote ulipoenda. Look at the way God makes people great. Angalia vile Mungu anawafanya watu kuwa wakuu. I have I have been with you. Nami nimekuwa pamoja nawe. People that have God. Watu ambao wana, wana Mungu. They had. We, we read in Zechariah they had that the Lord is with us. Eh tunasoma Zakaria kwamba walisikia kwamba Mungu yuko pamoja nasi. God was with this young man. Mungu alikuwa na pamoja na kijana huyu. And he cut off all his enemies. Naye akawakata maadui wote. Father may you cut off Baba ukawatoe all our enemies bali maadui zetu in the name of Jesus kwa jina la Yesu from before us e mbele zetu may you cut off ukawakate all our enemies maadui zetu from before our families toka mbele ya in the name zetu. of Jesus kwa jina la Yesu he cut off all the enemies of David tunakata alikata maadui zote wa Daudi David went through a lot of battles. Daudi alipitia katika vita nyingi sana. And what happened? Na kilichofanyika. And you have made and have made you David a great name. Na amekusa amekufanya wewe kuwa jina kuu. Who is making David anything? Nani anafanya Daudi kitu? Who is making David something? Nani anafanya Daudi kuwa kitu? God, Mungu. I have made you a great name. Nimekufanyia jina kuu like the name of the great men who are on earth kama jina la wakuu walioko dunia I have made you 
a great name. Nimekufanyia jina kubwa. I want you to make a short prayer. Ningependa ufanye maombi fupi. One of the ways and one of the things that makes people not become great. Njia moja na kitu kimoja ambacho kinafanya watu wasio kama vile nimesema you know there are battles in life unajua kuna vita katika maisha enemies against greatness na kuna maadui ambao wanapigana na ukuu open your mouth and just pray for yourself and the family fungua kinywa chako ujiombe mwenyewe na familia cut off enemies from before us za kwamba Mungu atawakata maadui and cause us to be great na atatufanya kuwa wakuu in the name of jesus kwa jina la Yesu that we will not be nobodies again za kwamba hatutakuwa wadogo tena kwa sababu kuna utukufu that he is going to make us great za kwamba atatufanya kuwa wakuu in the name of jesus kwa jina la Yesu may that prayer be answered maombi hayo yakajibiwe in the name of jesus kwa jina la Yesu. Now, those sasa, are some of the instances sasa hiyo ndiyo mifano that will cause men to be drawn to us. Ambayo itawafanya watu wakavutwe kwetu. Let's go back there again. Wacha turudi hapo. Zakaria 8:23. Zakaria 8:23. Men will come. Watu watakuja. And they will hold the hem of our our garments. Na watashika upinde wa nguo zetu. Ten men will come. Hakika watakuja and take firm hold of one Jew. Na wamshike myaudi mmoja. By the hem of his robe. Eh, kushika upindo wa nguo yake. I love this part that says we have heard. Na napenda sana sehemu ya kwamba naam tumesikia. Because we have heard. Na kwa sababu tumesikia. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. You know this theme is connected with the visitation. Unajua mada hii imeunganika na kutembelewa. We have heard. Tumesikia. So what makes us to connect with that influence? Kwa hivyo kinachotufanya ili tuunganike na hiyo adhabu. How to connect? Vile ya kuunganika with God na Mungu for influence. E, kwa kuadhiri. That is now where we are. Sasa hapo ndipo tulipo. That is where we shall be finishing. Hapo ndipo tutakuwa tunamalizia. When we do that we will be finishing. Tukifanya hivyo basi tutakuwa tunamalizia. How to malizia. connect with God? vile ya kuunganika na Mungu influence kwa kuadhiri people will come looking for you watu watakuja wakutafuta and they will want they are, they are saying we have had na wanasema kwamba tumesikia we have had tumesikia that god is with you ya kwamba Mungu yuko pamoja nanyi number one. ya kwanza it is seeking god ni kumtafuta Mungu with a committed heart. Kwa moyo ambao umejitolea. First, second Chronicles 17. Mambo ya nyakati wa kwanza sura ya 17. This one has challenged me. Hii sasa imenitia changamoto. Second Chronicles 17:6. Oh, mambo ya nyakati 17 mstari wa 26. There's a king here. Kunaye mfalme hapo. Mhm. Which version? Give me RSV. Nipatie RSV. Aha. Uh-huh. Yeah. Help me with verse 5. Nisaidie na mstari wa 5. Where King Jehoshaphat is mentioned, you can just start there. Pale mfalme Yehoshafati ametajwa. Tuanze hapo. Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. Jehoshaphat. Verse 5. Therefore, the Lord Kindly verse four. Seeking is verse four or something. Yes, he sought the God of his father and walked in his commandments and not according to the ways of Israel. Ali mtafuta mungu wa baba yake akaenda katika amri zake wala si katika matendo ya Israeli. Message says these ways of Israel were the popular ways. A message inasema kwamba hizi njia za Israeli zikuwa njia ambazo zilikuwa zinapendwa. Like in our time there are the popular things. E, kama katika siku zetu kuna vile vitu ambavyo vinapendwa. This man Jehoshaphat. Huyo mtu Jehoshaphat decided not to follow the popularity uh, index. Akaamua kwamba hatafuata yale mambo ambayo yanapendwa. He sought God. Yeye alimtafuta Mungu. The God of his father. Mungu wa baba yake. Verse 5. wa 5. God secured his kingdom. Kwa hivyo Bwana akaudhibitisha ufalme wake. Giving 
bring him a firm grip on it akimpatia mkono wa kushika kwa nguvu this is this is part of the benefit sasa hii ni sehemu ya faida god made him have a firm grip of his kingdom e, mungu akamfanya kuwa na udhibiti na kwa mkono wa nguvu juu ya wafalme wake juda showed their appreciation na kila mmoja katika yuda basi akaleta zawadi yake by bringing gifts joshaphat ended up very rich and very much honored basi joshaphati akawa na mali na mwenye heshima tele let's proceed tuendelee look at this angalia hapo verse 6 mstari wa 6 he was single minded yeye alikuwa na nia moja i love this he was single minded in following god and he got rid of the local sects and religious religion shrines ba hapo alikuwa na nia moja ya njia za bwana na zaidi ya hayo akapaondoa mahali pa juu na maashara katika yuda nia moja mhm nia moja nia moja ba 7 msali wa 7 i want to show you what happened with the, this issue of drawing crowds ningependa kuonyesha jambo kuhusu ili jambo la kuvutia watu wengi in the third year of his reign he sent his officials excellent men every one of them uh, teaching on a teaching mission let's go to the next another one next there's a place kuna philistines wanakuja kumbariki kindly get me that all right uh, some Philistines baadhi ya wafilisti even brought gifts hata wakamletea zawadi and the lord of silver na fedha ya kodi desert that one <laughs> yes uh-huh. verse 12 mstari wa 12 you know philistines recognized this man wafilisti wakamtambua mtu huyu jehoshaphat became stronger by the day Yoshafati akazidi kuwa mwenye nguvu kila siku. become stronger by the day. Ukafanyike mwenye nguvu kila siku. Jesus name. Kwa jina la Yesu. And they constructed more and more forts and the store cities and they became more prosperous. Uku wake Yoshafati ukazidi sana akajenga katika Yuda ngome na miji hazina. Those are some of the things that he did hizo ni baadhi ya vitu ambavyo alivifanya i loved two things i saw here napendezo na vitu viwili ambavyo niliviona hapo let me show you verse 6 mstari wa 6 of course verse 5 inaanza na seeking god e mstari wa 5 unaanza kwa kumtafuta mungu everyone is seeking god sasa kila mmoja anamtafuta mungu even someone told me thieves pray before they go for their business hata mtu akaniambia kwamba wezi wanaomba kwanza kabla hawajaenda kutekeleza mambo yao and i i was wondering what kind of prayer <laughs> na nilikuwa nashangaa ni aina gani ya maombi and i realized anybody can pray na nikatambua kwamba mtu yeyote anaweza kuomba something about jehoshaphat lakini kitu kuhusu yoshafat he was different kikamfanya kuwa tofauti he had a single minded focus on god yeye alikuwa na mkazo wa kinia kinia moja kwa mungu and this same verse uh, rsv says na mstari huu uh, rsv inasema he was courageous yeye alikuwa mjasiri courageous alikuwa hodari in the ways of the lord katika njia za bwana help us help us tusaidie he was courageous yeye alikuwa hodari he could leave the popular stuff angeachana na vile vitu ambavyo vijulikana the things that everyone is doing yale matendo ambayo kila mtu mwingine alikuwa anayafanya and he decided to follow god na anaamua kumfuata mungu He was a courageous person. Yeye alikuwa mtu mwenye ujasiri. In the things of God. Katika mambo ya Mungu. Ares visited he was courageous. Ares vi nasema kwamba yeye alikuwa hodari. In the ways of God. Katika njia That za Mungu. That is what I want. Courageous. E mwenye ujasiri. And I got a question within myself. Na nikapata swali ndani yangu. I was asking myself. Nikawa najiuliza mwenyewe. Do I, are there things for that I do for God? courageously are, are there certain things that i have done for god that i do for god out of courage 
kunavyo vitu vya Mungu ambavyo nimevifanya kutoka kwa ujasiri my faith goes to the level that i do those things by by, by faith yes but courageously imani yangu inapanda juu mpaka nafanya hayo mambo kwa ujasiri there is courage kuna ujasiri in things of god katika mambo ya mungu in coming for a service katika kuhudhuria ibada in availability katika kuwepo in in having our whole heart sold out for god katika kupata mioyo yetu ikiwa umeuzwa kikamilifu kwa mungu kuna ujasiri the commitment level is the courageous level kiwango cha kujitolea ni kiwango cha ujasiri bwana yesu asifiwe amen let it be known o king wacha ijulikane kwako mfalme our god is able to save us mungu wetu ana uwezo wa kutuokoa and if he does not save us na kama hata tuokoa we are not going to bow to your to your idol hatutainamia sanamu yako a courageous faith E imani ambayo ni hodari. God help us. Mungu atusaidie. To be courageous in the things of God. Tukawe na ujasiri katika mambo ya Mungu. I don't know whether you know there is a lot of fear in most people. Sijui kama umetambua kwamba kuna waga mwingi ndani ya watu. There are things we do not know we do not do because we are fearing. Kuna mambo mengi ambayo hatufanyi kwa sababu tunaogopa. But God is challenging us today. Lakini Mungu anatutia changamoto leo. The level that you will attract people kile kiwango ambacho utavutia watu the level that people will uh, will will see god kiwango ambacho watu watamuona mungu your life katika maisha yako is a level of being courageous ni kiwango cha kuwa na hoda hoda in the ways of god katika njia za mungu may god help us mungu atusaidie in the name of jesus kwa jina la yesu in that level of devotion katika hicho kiwango cha kujitolea in the name of jesus kwa jina la yesu you can say something to the lord naweza kumwambia bwana mungu nisaidie bwana to be courageous Jesus. Niwe na uhodari. In your ways. Katika njia zako. In obedience. Katika utiifu. In service. Katika utumishi. In availability. Katika kupatikana. Help me to be courageous. Nisaidie niwe na ujasiri. In the name of Jesus. Kwa jina la Yesu. If we are together say amen. Kama tuko pamoja sema amina. Amen. Amen. Number 2. Ya pili. I might give only 2. Ni naweza kupatiana mbili tu. And we are done. Na tumalize. Number 2 is pray. Yep. Yep. pray the word of god in you ya pili omba neno la mungu ndani yako pray the word of god in you omba neno la mungu ndani yako there is a part of putting the word of god in you kuna sehemu ya kuweka neno la mungu ndani yako then when you are put in you na basi ikiwa imewekwa ndani yako in me ndani yangu then i pray that word in me basi niombe hilo neno ndani yako i receive unusual answers Napokea majibu yasiyo ya kawaida. And that causes people to be drawn. Na hiyo inawafanya watu wavutwe. To the kind of God that I serve. E kwa yule Mungu ambaye namtumikia. John 15:7. Yohane 15:7 mstari wa 7. Look at this. Angalia hapo. John 15:7 says. Yohane 15:7 mstari wa 7 inasema. If you live in me. Kama unaishi ndani yangu. And my words live in you na neno langu linaishi ndani yako if you remain in me basi na ukisalia ndani yangu and my words remain na maneno yangu yanakaa when something is supposed to remain it means it can be lost wakati kitu cha sahili kukaa maana yake ni kwamba kinaweza kupotea no wonder in the parable of the sower there is a part that says the enemy is out to steal na ndio sababu seed. katika ule mfano mafundisho ya kupandwa kwa mbegu kuna the enemy wants to steal the seed the word of god that is planted in the believer's heart adui anataka kuiba ile neno ambayo limewekwa lime katika uh, maisha ya muumini particularly the seeds that we are sown on rock sana sana zile mbegu ambazo zilianguka kwenye mawe the things that they don't understand vile vitu ambavyo hawaelewi listen to me nisikilizeni anything that we teach and you don't understand kitu chochote ambacho tunafundisha na hauelewi anything you read in the word of god and you don't understand kitu chochote ambacho unasoma kwa neno la mungu na hauelewi it is on rock e kiko juu ya mawe it is exposed kimefunuliwa unless 
unless we do something it will not remain in us na mpaka tufanye jambo hakitakanda ni yetu and remember it has to bear fruit if it is in us nakumbuka lazima kiwe na matokeo ama matunda kama kitaishi ndani yetu it has to remain in us for it to bear fruit lazima kikaa ndani yetu ili kizae matunda So the word of God must abide in us. Kwa hivyo neno la Mungu lazima likae ndani yetu. And then when it is in us. Basi likiwa ndani yetu. That revelation. Huo ufunuo. That rema. Hilo neno la that rema. Understanding. Kuelewa huku. That's why after we teach after you read the word. Hii ndio sababu baada ya kufundisha baada ya kusoma neno la Mungu. There are some things you need to pursue. Kuna vitu ambavyo unastahili kufuatana navyo. I have heard about healing. Nimesikia kuhusu uponyaji. This thing that I I desire healing. Kuna hiki kitu ambacho natamani natamani uponyaji. I desire healing in this area. Natamani uponyaji katika eneo hili. What is God saying about this area? Mungu anasema nini kuhusu eneo hili? Pursue understanding. Nitafute kuelewa. The word of God is not on rock. Neno la Mungu alipo juu ya jiwe. Where there is understanding it is now in the heart. Pale kuna kuelewa basi nimo ndani ya moyo. And we you, you now pray. Na sasa unaomba. When you pray, unapoomba, it is done. Sasa inafanywa. Miracles. Miujiza. Cancer is healed. Saratani na Things happen. Mambo utendeke. Amen. Amen. May God help you. Mungu akusaidie. Let me show you how it happens. Wacha nikufanye kuonyeshe vile inafanywa. One. I identify an area in your life. Tambua eneo katika maisha yako. That you need God. Mbayo inamhitaji Mungu. Two. Ya pili. Number one, identify an area. Ya kwanza ni utafute eneo sehemu. How to do this? Na How vile kufanya hivyo. Fulfill this word. Vile kutimiza neno hili. Identify an area in your life. Tafuta eneo katika maisha yako. That you need God. Mbapo unahitaji Mungu. Number two. Ya pili. Get the scripture pokea mstari maandiko books na vitabu and read meditatively na uvisome ukiwa unavitaka unatifita fakari on it juu yake remain there wewe kaa hapo i, I follow bishop uh, oyedepo ninamfuata askofu oyedepo and, and and this is the, this is something i got na hiki ni kitu ambacho nilipokea one time wakati mmoja One of the children, one of his children, moja wa moja watoto wake, had teething problems. Alikuwa ana shida ya kuota meno. You know the way they get sick. Unajua vile watoto wanaugua. And he, he, he looked at the way the young boy was having challenges. Na akapata kuona vile kijana alikuwa na shida. Challenges feeding. Eh shida ya challenges etc. Shida ya And then he did what I'm saying. Hivyo basi akafanya vile ninalosema. I just laughed at the testimony. He said, "Napendezwa na ushuhuda alisema." I took I took some books. Nikachukua baadhi ya vitabu. And I took I got the word of God. Na nikapokea neno la Mungu. I looked for scriptures that explain something about children. Na nikatafuta maandiko ambayo yanaelezea kuhusu watoto. I want to know. Nataka kujua. Is it written in the word? Imeandikwa katika neno. When children are teething. Ya kwamba wakati watoto wanaota meno. Get sick. Wanasaini kuugua. Others even are at a very bad state. Hata wengine wanaingia katika hali mbaya. Is it written in the word? Imeandikwa katika maandiko. And he said he locked himself somewhere. Na akasema alijifungia mahali. And he started reading. Na akaanza kusoma. Meditating and praying. Akitafakari na kuomba. And the one thing he said. Na kitu kimoja alisema. He never saw any scripture. Yeye hakuona maandiko mmoja. That says that children must go through what he saw his, uh, his son go through. Inayosema watoto lazima wapitie kile aliona mwanaye akipitia. He saw that children are reward. Akaona kwamba watoto the children ni, of the righteous shall be great. Watoto wa mwenye haki watakuwa wakubwa. He saw some promises. Akaona baadhi ya hayo. And he said in himself in in his heart. Na akasema ndani ya moyo wake. Something was created. Kitu kiliumbika. And he, he got convinced that whatever that is happening to his son is of the devil na akapata kushawishika chote ambacho yatendeka mtoto wake ni cha shetani the word abiding neno likidumu and then he went to the child basi akaendea mtoto and he spoke na the word of god akaongea neno la mungu he spoke what he believed akatamka kile ambacho aliamini according to the word of god that he had retrieved kulingana ile neno la mungu ambalo alipokea he spoke to the child 
aliongea kwa mtoto he spoke life akaongea uzima he spoke healing akaongea uponya young man got well kijana akapona you can do it in your life unaweza kuifanya kwa maisha yako i have Yeah, three things. Number one, identify an area in your life. Hakika niko na vitu vitatu kwanza utafute sehemu katika maisha yako. Number 2. Get books and the scriptures Pata about vi- about that area. Pata vitabu na maandiko kuhusu sehemu hiyo. And read meditatively. Na usome kwa kutafakari. Do something re- uh, get secluded with god and receive something wewe kama ale pako na mungu na ufanye kitu have something hata kitu you know uh, let me say this the season is changed unajua majira yamebadilika we are not just going to say by the stripes of jesus i am healed if it is not in us hatutafanya tu kusema kwa mapigo ya yesu ni mapona kama haiko ndani ya moyo wetu that one scripture when it enters in your heart mstari huu mmoja ukiingia katika moyo wako when it abides inapodumu you have meditated and stayed there umetafakari na umnaishi hapo if it abides kama inakaa you will speak to any disease utaongea na kila ugonjwa it will live na ugonjwa utaondoka If you understand say amen. Kama unaelewa sema amen. Number three is number three is pray based on the revelation you receive. Basi nambari ya tatu ni omba ukitegemea ule msingi ambao umepokea. You will be one ambao umepokea. You will be living a life that people will desire. Utakaa maisha ambayo watu wanatamani. How do you receive this? Unapokeaje jambo hili? How do you deal with this? Unakabiliana jambo hili namna gani? What conviction? Where do you get your conviction from? Ushawishi wako unatoka wapi? I wish I was I, I had such a conviction. Someone said I wish. Natarajia ningekuwa na ushawishi wa aina hiyo. Let me tell you it's not about wishing. Wacha niwaambie si kuhusu kutarajia. We have kutarajia. to be deliberate. Tusaini kuwa tumeamua na kujua. That for example let me tell you something Kuna baadhi ya vitu ninawaambia kitu. There are some things this house. Kuna vitu katika nyumba hii. This altar. Madhabahu haya as is spoken yamenena some let me give you an example acheni wapatie mfano any issue about wealth jambo lolote kuhusu utajiri it is spoken here limezungumziwa hapa what might be remaining for many kile kinaweza kuwa kimebakia kwa wengi abiding ni kukaa is that word abiding in us hilo neno linakaa ndani yetu as you pray for prosperity unapoombea kufanisi that things may be well ya kwamba mambo yakawe mema is the word abiding neno linakaa have we done our part tumefanya sehemu yetu bwana yesu asifiwe amen this is how you will become the next giant hivi ndivyo nafanyika ile kitu this is how we are drawing nations hivi ndivyo tunavutia mataifa what makes people identify winners chapel members nini kinawafanya watu watambue wale washirika wa winners for example kwa mfano you go to some places and they have a description of certain churches unaenda maeneo fulani na unakuta wana maelezo kuhusu makanisa fulani i'm believing god that our church we will have a description naamini kwamba kanisa letu tutakuwa na maelezo we will have a description tutakuwa na maelezo we will have a description tutakuwa na maelezo we will have a description tutakuwa na maelezo if it is so and so kama ni fulani na fulani or if you saw them behave this way ama kama uliona wakiwa na tabia from this church wanatoka kwa kanisa hili amen amen i want us to arise Basi ngependa tuinuke may god bless you mungu awabariki may god help you mungu akusaidie may god cause you to shine mungu akusababishe in the name of jesus nai open your mouth fungua kinywa chako declare something tangaza kitu if notice to some problems eh pata kujua tabu zingine in the name of jesus kwa jina la yesu ratoshi kataba thank you jesus makaza yatago ritekeze maka In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. There is going to be a shift. Kutakuwa na uhamisho. Just open your mouth and pray. Fanya kufungua kinywa chako na uombe. Jesus just pray. Ufanya kuomba tu. Just pray. Omba tu. In the name of Jesus. Kwa jina la Yesu. Father help us to understand. Baba tusaidie kuelewa. This issue. Eh jambo hili. This 
issue Lord Jambo hili bwana This season Lord Haya majira bwana What we are doing in our season Kile unafanya katika that majira yetu Lord helping us Bwana kusaidia That we are helping us Lord Bwana unasaidia bwana Help us to become Tusaidie kufanyika Help us to draw men Tusaidie kuwavutia watu For you Lord Wako bwana We lift you Jesus Tunakuinua Yesu As your word says Na kama vile na wako nasema Lift Jesus high Tunapomuinua Yesu draw men to himself Atajivutia watu kwake Jesus Kwa jina la Yesu Pray tonight. Father, help us Baba, to understand how to conduct ourselves. This season kujibema. of commanding results. How I pray for every listener. Vile how I pray for each and every one of us. Vile that you will help us Baba, to have a fully committed heart. To have a courageous heart. To have a moyo In the name hodari. of Jesus. Help us, Lord. To, saidie, to work on the word of God. To and a walk with us now katembena may your presence be evident wapo wako kadiri may your presence be evident wapo wako kadiri in the name of jesus help us lord to say die to learn how to conduct ourselves you will ya kujibeba wenyewe in that high raised levels katika hicho kiwango kibachi kenuliwa in the name of jesus kwa jina la yesu how we amba ourselves ile tujishushe before you lord mbele zako bwana in the name of jesus we pray kwa jina la yesu tumeomba Amen.